Hi, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago, talking yen futures. Yen were down 3.5% last week versus the US dollar, with today December yen hitting 89.92 before recovering ever so slightly. And we're working essentially on a second week of weakness with the pressure we saw on the yen today. Now, it's very early in the week, obviously, but the way that things are lining up doesn't seem like there's going to be any medium term recovery in the yen, especially against the US dollar. When you look at the situation with the global central banks, there's definitely a clear divergence of path for the central banks, specifically between at least the US and the BOJ. Now, possibly the Bank of England as well, possibly the ECB as well, but definitely as we come into a week where we have a US Fed meeting and that Fed meeting, that FOMC meeting is expected to produce balance sheet normalization announcement and plans for the way that our Fed, the U.S. Fed, is expected to curb their balance sheet and stop taking maturing securities and buying new securities. The Bank of Japan is on the completely opposite path. They own now about 73 percent of equities in Japan. They owe a substantial amount of the debt instruments as well. So the central banks are definitely diverging, which tells you that there's no real turnaround point in the medium to long term between the dollar yen and you expect the yen weakness to continue. Now we also had a little bit of a surprise where Shinzo Abe, the Prime Minister of Japan, is talking about a snap election in Japan sometime late this month, early next month. Now he is most likely trying to capitalize on the bump in popularity that he has had and his party has had. They're up five points from the last poll and there's chaos in the opposition party. Now you look again at his approval ratings and what's been going on economically and that just points to more yen weakness. If he has a snap election and is able to gain a larger majority in the House, he's definitely a supporter and a proponent of this Abenomics that Kuroda, the Bank of Japan president, follows, which is more stimulus, trying to push inflation, which is just more weakening of the yen. So they continue to purchase things. Uh, assets rather, and they continue to be accommodative. And if Shinzo Abe gets the snap election and wins, you see that continuing. You see yen weakness continuing. This is Bob Aichino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago talking yen futures.